for YouTube. Look at your hair. Your hair. Oh. <laughs> Look at that sexy dude. It's Victoria. I'm back from my little thrifting trip. Thanks for watching my little thrift with me. I know that you saw some of these items in the footage that you just watched, but I'm going to share with you the items I ended up picking up and I'm going to tell you why I picked them up. Since you've already seen some of them, um, we're just going to try to get through this really quick. If you're new here, my name is Victoria. We're super geeked where we celebrate everything we get super geeked about. One of the things I get super geeked about is reselling. I'm a full-time clothing reseller. I sell on Poshmark, eBay, Etsy, and Mercari. I buy clothing at thrift stores, retail stores, estate sales, garage sales, anywhere you can buy clothing and I resell them for a profit. Some of these items I already have listed, but I just wanna show you what I picked up. This is my biggest thrift haul so far since uh, post quarantine. And so I was excited to find some of these. Um, there's some vintage mixed in. You may have seen a couple of the outfits I posted on Instagram when I had my friend model them for me. I did hire a model to do some of my pictures for items that I couldn't find stock photos for. So that was very helpful. The first thing I got was this little romper. It's a little floral romper and it is by Free People. It's an extra small. I'm being a little more particular about the free people I pick up, but this was really cute. It's getting a lot of attention on Poshmark already. Um, I think it will sell pretty quickly. And so I was happy to find that. The next item I picked up on Style this is Lucky Brand. I don't always pick up Lucky Brand, but I thought that these jeans were really interesting because they have this raw hem style that goes all the way down the waistband. It goes all the way around the waistband and it's really kind of neat. And then there's also a raw hem at the bottom, but they're like this light wash with some whiskering on it. These are a size two and they just were really cute. So um, I picked those up. I have a very strong love-hate relationship with J. Jill and I don't always pick J. Jill up anymore, but she was calling to me. So this is a J. Jill size small. It is this really cool Aztec print wool open front sweater. I thought it was really pretty and I definitely wanted to get some more stuff for the upcoming colder months. So um, I picked this up. I also like the colors a lot. So um, I thought I couldn't go wrong with that one. The next item, I really got this based on style. It's by a brand called Jigsaw. It's a size 16. I didn't know much about this brand, but I love this teal velvet. It's got this pretty pointed belt built in. It's got pretty pleating on the bodice. It's got a tie belt and it's a midi length and it's just gorgeous. And this is actually a European brand, uh, so I wasn't able to find tons on it, but um, I just thought it was so pretty and it reminded me a lot of the dresses that I get from Mod Cloth. So I definitely wanted to pick that up. Okay, this is one of the vintage pieces that I got. I'll pop up a picture of my friend modeling this, but it is a hot pink jumpsuit. It does have buttons down the front and this little button belt. It's hard to hold it up and show you how cool it is, but it is a full length jumpsuit. It is probably from the 80s. It has an elect elastic waistband on the back. This is the brand name and it is in a size 10, but um, I've sold a lot of these jumpsuits for over $50. So a lot of people are looking for them. This one's cool because it has like longer sleeves and it's just a really cool jumpsuit. The next item is probably from the early 90s. This is from Dawn Joy Fashions. It is another jumpsuit, but I got it because of this floral. In the 90s, you would see a lot of black back backgrounds with a floral print. This one has a tie neck and it's got big wide legs. So it's, it's really nice and roomy. It's really pretty. Again, I'll 
put up another picture of Krista wearing the jumpsuit so you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like but I just thought it was really pretty. Next is, um, I have a picture of Krista also modeling this, but it is a pretty house dress. And I just loved this pastel colored floral print. It has a tie here and a tie belt. And it is by Tribute. It says it's a size 16 and a half, but of course this is vintage sizing. It is a little oversized, but it has three quarter length sleeves and it's a midi length. I've been trying to find more bathing suits that are in a new condition. They still have the liner and tags. I did pick up this Ann Cole swimsuit. It's a size six. It's a one piece in this tropical pattern. It does still have the liner in it and it actually still has the strap attached in this little bag, um, but it's a cute little, you can wear it strapless or with straps so that that's what's in the bag is the straps. It's got a built-in bra. And then here's the little Ann Cole logo. It's a nice suit. They don't retail for tons. I think like maybe $89, but um, it's a nice quality suit for my store. Next up is a bread and butter brand. It is the Skimmer by White House Black Market. It's a size six. I got these based on style. I do like to sell White House Black Market uh, if they're newer styles. This one has the zipper ankles and it's a moto jean but it feels almost like a suede. It's really soft. It's in a dusty rose, which is really popular color. So, and then it has a little bit of detailing on the pocket, but nothing that takes away from the pants. So I picked those up. Everyone's been sourcing comfy because we've all had to stay home more than normal. And so I picked up this next fuzzy sweater. It says chill. It's by Royce brand. A lot of these have sold on Poshmark. I, it's cute. It's oversized. Like I said, it's sort of like a Terry sweater material, really cute and comfy and cozy. And so I thought that would be a nice quick seller. Next is a brand I've never picked up before. It's called standards and practices. This is new without tags. It still has the string, but I loved this dress. It has like a halter neckline and these it's in this sort of trapeze style with a handkerchief hem but it is in this ombre uh, tinsel so tinsel is a very good keyword to use some people search for just this fabric people make the mistake of just putting chambray but there are people that actually look for this specific type of material called tinsel uh, because it's really soft i just could not pass this up on style alone and the last dress i have to share with you is so cute i couldn't find any comps on this i think this may be an older style but this is tibby and it is a button front dress. It's in this beautiful coral pink. I mean, it is more pink than coral, but it's got these elastized sleeves, really cute. So they give you a nice little poof right there. Very pretty. I just thought this dress was so precious. And so I picked that up. So that was my haul from that trip. I was really excited because I got some staple pieces, some bread and butter pieces, but then I also got some cool vintage finds, which I love selling vintage. Um, I sell a lot of vintage and vintage inspired clothing. That's why my Poshmark closet's name is Retrospectives. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope that you at least got some ideas of styles and brands that sell well for me. And then also newer brands that I'm trying out that I've never sold before. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do. We would love to have you here. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below and I'll see you next time. Bye.